What's up, everybody? So today we're going to be showing you the, you know, the like to call it thick boy meta. For now, it's the meta. Everything, as you see, is perfectly blood. Everything blood procs. It's 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 the build right now. So definitely hop on it. Reason why I call it thick boy meta is because obviously with thick boy we got the fire pre late body, and it works really good. Uh, first things first. Uh, this is new game plus four, I believe. Um, the equipment, Rivers of Blood, plus ten, of course. Uh, we do wield it. Well, we two-hand it. It does more damage. Um, you can use... I don't think I have it here. You could also use Lord Mog's Blood Spear is really good. Its skill is really good, but I prefer this one. It's a lot more burst damage. And a lot lighter than a colossal weapon as a sphere um we have the white mass it gives you whoops it gives you blood uh bonus attack damage when there's blood loss we have the fire prelate armor of course um you can a lot of people like to use the veterans armor but with my build i'm allowed a heavy armor and the other pieces of veterans armor so I use fire prelate armor because it has the most resistances out of at least the resistances I want, like physical, um, magic and fire. That's that's the resistances I want. Um, so you can use that, or you can swap to Lionel's gear, Omen armor, or you could just get dripped the fuck out and put veterans armor if you want, entirely preference wise. But I like to be a little more tanky. Um, we got veterans, gauntlets, veteran gear, greaves. You can get all of these at Castle of Soul over here at Mountaintops of the Giants. Uh, this is also where you get the right piece, I believe, for the secret Halig tree uh, medallion. That's how you fight Michaela. I mean, sorry, uh, Millennia, Michaela's sister. sister. Yeah, but I rant. Um, our talisman, super important. We use Millicent's prosthesis. Prosthesis, how we pronounce it? Uh, boosts dexterity by five. Um, and raises attack power with successive attacks. So a lot of people say you can use. You, of course, you can use uh, this one. It does the same. Boost is the same. However, this one also gives you the raise attack power with successive attacks, which you are going to do with Rivers of Blood a lot. It's a lot of attacks, so it's awesome. Uh, Lord of Blood Exaltation, uh, Blood Loss, and Vicinity Increased Attack Power. So you're getting double attack power with the White Mask and Lord of Blood's Exaltation. Lord of Blood's Exaltation, you get it from the Catacombs underneath Landell's capital. Um, I do believe you can get it after, um, before and after the collapse, I want to say, without spoiling. Um, yeah, but it's in the catacombs underneath. Uh, Millicent's prosthesis you get from completing Millicent's quest line. You get two items um, from the end of her quest. Well, you get you can get two items from the end of her quest line. So the way I did it was I went up to the point where you fought her sisters, and after the sisters, she's kind of weak and laying down and. Um, so before you fight your sisters, you choose to fight with the sisters. You fight with the sisters against her, you get this one. If you fight against the sisters, you get this one. But if you fight the sisters with Millicent, and then you kill her afterwards, you'll get both talismans. So that's pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Uh, only reason the quest line, you would do that quest line is for these two items. And of course... Um, cleansing yourself of the frenzy for the ending um yes shard of alexander really good greatly boosts the attack power of skills you get this from following the alexander quest line um i believe it all starts um i don't remember specifically uh you meet him somewhere in some mountain um then you'll meet him again over here. He'll be over here. You need to hit him with an oil pot. 
then you'll see him in Radon's fight. Um, you want to talk to him after the fight over here. Then you'll see him um, over here near the lava. He'll be behind the stone right here. And then you'll see him again in this area right around here. And then he'll ask you to duel him. You kill him. And you get the innards of Alexander and the shards of Alex that uh, that other one that boosts his attack power. With the innards of Alexander, you can go here to Jarberg and uh, complete that quest line and get another talisman as well. Uh, don't ask me why I know all these things because I played the game and uh, I'm 166 hours in. <laughs> uh, so yeah, shard of Alexander really good. Um, if you don't have it, honestly, you could go for. Carrigan's Filigree Crest. You get this by introducing yourself to Iggy by first meeting Vlad in um, in the Mistwood Ruins. You'll see him here, and you'll hear a howl. And once you look on top of the ruins, you see him howling. Um, what you want to do is you want to go to the Church of Ella over here and talk to the merchant. He's going to give you the Snap Jester. When you do that, you come back here. You'll snap, and he'll jump from the top of the ruins, and... He'll introduce himself to you and introduce you to Iggy, which you can actually find over here, right around here. Um, you'll go to this ruins and there'll be a hidden wall. You attack the ruins and you'll notice Iggy right there. Iggy's a big dude. Obviously right now, I can't show you right now because he's dead in my playthrough. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, once you go to him, you want to exhaust the option um, dialogue where he says um, where you met Vlad, Vlad, whatever his name is, um, and he'll give you that for sell. And then I like to use Urtree's favor, increases max, some of them HP, stamina, and equip load. Why not? Um, it allows me to equip everything, and my HP is pretty high. Uh, Urtree's favor plus two. You want to? You have the only way you can get it is after the collapse of uh, the capital city and you'll find it right here like on top of this little stone but you want to be wary because there's going to be three cursed tree uh three um i don't know what they're called um but the snakes from their tree they're like cursed um yeah there'll, there'll be three here you just want to run past it grab the talisman and get the fuck out um the way you do it after the collapse is you want to either get this grace because you'll you more than likely have this grace because that leads to the, the lift you want to take that grace go all the way back up make your way around here and then you'll take this way it'll lead you here then you want to walk down here and then you're going to run through the sand and get the favor right there um so yeah that's pretty much it um, if you don't have Melissa's prosthesis, of course you can use the prosthesis um, where heirloom, or you can sub it out for uh, Radagon Sword Seal. Um, that also increases a lot of attributes, but it also increases the damage taken. It's a 15% boost in damage taken, but the fact that I have this and I don't really need points and other stats at the moment. Um, because I'm high level, it's good as, good as is. Um, for the flask, I use opening bubble tier and opening heart tier, uh, just because. And just to show you guys the damage of the blood of the rivers, which you also get, by the way, sorry for not saying that, you get it at... Uh, You get at the mountaintops of the giants right here at Church of Repose. There's going to be an invader there. Um, Okina, I think his name is. It's a samurai. He's pretty deadly, so be wary. Um, he'll have the Blood of Rivers. Yeah, Okina. Um, he'll have the Blood of Rivers and the Okina Mask. I believe he also drops his set. Um, but this, is incre this increases your dexterity for the lack of focus as well. Um, you can use if you don't have the White Mask. Um, the white mask I forgot to mention as well. Um, in order to get that, you need to complete uh, white mask Vera's quest line um, over here at Rose Church. Uh, basically, you want to go there after 
defeating Godric. No, after the um going, yeah, after defeating Godric and visiting the Two Fingers for the first time at the Round Table, go here, talk to him, deny that, just say that the Two Fingers suck. Um, he's gonna give you a quest. He's gonna give you Bloody Fingers. You want to invade three times with the Bloody Fingers? You could win or lose the fights. It don't matter. After that, he's gonna tell you to seek the blood of the Maiden. So there's two ways you can do that. You can use um, one of the four Belfry's uh, entries. There will be a free imbued stone sword key here um, at the top, which you use on this one, I believe. Um, it will say anticipation of excitement or something like that. Um, but I believe it's this one. Um, you could swipe the blood from the Maiden at the beginning, right when you start the game. Or you can go over here to the Church of Inhibition and there'll be a maiden as well. You get that, you go back to him. He's gonna tell you to stick out your fingers and he's gonna give you, he's gonna do something with your blood, I don't know. And then you talk to him again, again and he gives you a an item that teleports you to the Lord of Blood's place. You'll end up get a teleporter here and what you wanna do is you're gonna start uh, how do I? You're gonna start over here, and what you like right around here. And what you want to do is you want to make your way all the way around here. I think it's this way. Make your way all the way around here, and then you want to stop right here and try to range battle this bird first, and then you will walk a little forward, and then a white mass is gonna be summoned. He's gonna be. He's gonna evade you right here. Kill him. Another white mass is going to be right here. Kill him. And another white mass is going to be here. You kill him. Um, so you need to kill three white mask invaders in order to get the mask. Um, you need to do that before you kill Lord Mog. Because if you kill Lord Mog, they won't summon anymore. Um, but also be wary of the birds that spawn. Um, yeah, let's. Enough talking. Let me show you, Bill. I still like to use the Mimic. He still does a lot of damage. Except he doesn't heal that much. So we'll see here. Um, this thing over here. You can see the amount of damage I do with one combo. That's 7.4k damage. With one combo of the Blood. that's it that's literally it um that's how much damage it does really good really op um with the stats you want i put arcane 99 and then i focus on arcane and dexterity um dark dexterity is the one you want to fill out the most um obviously because dexterity is a b stat rate uh scaling and arc is arcane is d but I always hit 60 on Vigor, Endurance 30, um, Mine 37, so I have 200 FP, and the rest is just there for there. Uh, but focus on Arcane and Dexterity. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the build. Peace.